Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacklet Educational Channel. So this is the part 3 for the RSPCB previous year's question series which will be very important for the RSPCB JSO JE as well as UGC NET Environmental Science Entrance Examination. So those who haven't checked the previous parts you can check the link given in the description. So without wasting much time let's get started. So I'll be reading the questions then I'll wait for certain seconds then we will discuss the answer. So let's read the question first. The first question is which color of the container is used to collect the sharp needle in the biomedical waste and the colors are on your screen. And here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, in the white color container we should collect the sharp needle as per the biomedical waste and it is one of the frequently asked questions in this kind of examination. So let's know briefly about the color system given to the biomedical waste because it is very important. So starting with the yellow color. The yellow color dust bins or the bins will be used for the human or animal anatomical waste, soiled waste, expired medicine, chemical waste, body fluids and clinical waste. Similarly, the red color containers will be used for disposing contaminated waste that are recyclable, plastic bags, bottles, pipes, container and catheters. So it is important. Catheters is also asked in the UGC NET exam. Next is coming to the white color. So this was asked in the question. So sharp metals, scalpels, blades, needles, all these sharp items will be disposed in the white color container that should be punctured proof if it are using for the sharp item that should be punctured proof. Next is blue color that will be used for broken glasswares, cytotoxic waste, metallic body implants, contaminated glasses including medicine vials. So medicine small bottles also will be used in blue. So this table is very important kindly note down all these things because this is one of the frequently asked question. Let's move to the next question. The next question is peritoneal mesothelioma is a rare form of cancer and it is associated with which of the following chemicals or asbestos, pesticides, radon gas or lead. So here the correct option will be it is related to asbestos. Yes, the people who are subjected to the asbestos more their work, they are working inside the asbestos company, asbestos factory then they are having the high chances for this kind of rare cancer that is peritoneal mesothelioma. So let us know about this briefly. So peritoneum is actually the layer that covers our abdominal organs. So abdomen part it covers and when these things that is asbestos are inhaled they are here they are stored. So they are subjected to the cause of cancer as you can see these fibers are causing. So in this blank we should fill with that is asbestos fiber. It is magnified here so they are concentrated here and slowly slowly they destroy the organs causing the cancer that is peritoneal mesothelioma. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is high calorific value of the solid waste is needed for which of the following process. And here the correct option will be it is needed for the incineration process. So what is this calorific value? So calorific value is actually the amount of energy. So mostly in the form of heat. When it is released, when 1 kg of fuel, you should note it down, when 1 kg of any fuel is any substance is burned, that is complete combustion in the presence of oxygen, then the amount of energy released is called as its calorific value. So its SI unit you should also note down, that is kilojoule per kg. So energy released kilojoule per kg of the waste which is burned or combustion is taking place. So that is used for the determination of incineration value. So what is this incineration? Incineration means the process of treatment that is mostly used for the waste management in which the substances are burnt. So they are the materials are burnt in the presence of oxygen. But it is different from the pyrolysis process which is not including oxygen that is devoid of oxygen when the substances are burnt it is called as pyrolysis. So there is a narrow difference between pyrolysis and incineration. You should note it down pyrolysis no oxygen incineration oxygen is required. So let's move to the next question. The next question is environmental clearance at the state level is given by which of the following authorities. So 
and here the correct option will be it is given by the state environment impact assessment authority so don't get confused so state level is not given by the state pollution control board that is environmental clearance it is given by state environmental impact assessment authority the short form is s e i a a let's move to the next question so the next question is density of the municipal solid waste is in which of the following range so what is the density of the municipal solid waste and here the standard density of the municipal solid waste is in the range of 400 to 700 kilogram per meter cube so it is also important kindly note down all these value let's move to the next question the next question is coming up what is the recycling symbol of plastic so read every options carefully and here the correct option will be option number d yes the recycling symbol used for the plastics is three bent arrows in a triangle with a number inside so as you can see in this picture there is a number inside the three bent arrows this is the symbol for the recycling of plastic and the number denotes the quality of plastics let's move to the next question the next question is what does the basal convention control and here the correct option will be the basal convention was formed for the control of the hazardous waste management hazardous waste movement so you should know this convention is also known as actually basal convention on the control of transboundary movement of hazardous waste and their disposal so what is this boundary so this boundary is in between the nations that the hazardous waste should not get transferred from one nation to another but it should be transferred with certain protocols and it was signed in the year 1989 so you should note down and here mostly it was done to prevent the transfer of hazardous waste from the not developed that is less developed countries they should not get the hazardous waste from the developed country so to restrict the movement from the developed to the less developed country this convention was signed in the year 1989 the next question is coming up the sun emits a maximum amount of radiation at the wavelength near which of the following micrometer wavelength while the earth emits the maximum radiation near which of the wavelength so you have to identify from the four options given and here the correct option will be option number a yes the sun emits the maximum amount of radiation at the wavelength of 0 0.5 micrometer whereas the earth emits the maximum radiation near the wavelength of 10 micrometer so note it down and let's move to the next question the next question is the protein contents are high in the wastewater from which of the following industries and the industries are textile steel dairy products or coffee so here we will use our common sense and by using our common sense the correct option will be option number c dairy products industries will be having the higher amount of protein contents in their wastewater why because dairy product means milk products and milk is rich in protein so that textile for the clothes steel coffee they will not be having the protein rich components so here dairy products milk is present so it will be having more protein that's why the wastewater will be having the protein contents high let's move to the next question the next question is the optimum initial carbon by nitrogen ratio of the solid waste for an efficient composting process is how much so here it is asking that initially what should be the carbon by nitrogen ratio for an efficient composting process and here the correct option will be option number c yes 30 should be the ratio between the carbon and nitrogen initially for any solid waste for the efficient composting otherwise it will not be able to produce a good compost let's move to the last question of this video and the last question is related to the rspcb question from the rajasthan the city of jaipur was founded in which of the following years and here the correct option will be option number d it was founded in the year 1727 and who founded this this was founded by maharaja sawai jay singh II. so you should write down maharaja sawai jay singh II. he founded this city that is pink city jaipur in the year 1727
so i hope you have got something new from this video and i will try to continue this series so don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates see you guys in our next video